ADA is AI pair programming in your terminal. So if you mention in a prompt what you want to build, automatically it creates all the required files and human in the loop. Even if you want to make any modification, you are able to do those modifications. And automatically, Git revisioning is built in. And this is super cool. And we are going to see how you can build an application right from your terminal and it can automatically create files, modify those files to create a full-fledged application. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. First, we are going to install Ada. To do that, just pip install Ada chat and then click enter. That is the main package. Now, first I'm going to use Cloud Sonnet from Anthropic. That is a powerful model. Then I'll be showing you how you can use Olama and also Grok. So export your Anthropic API key like this and then click enter. Next, Ada, then set the model name Anthropic slash and here is the model name. After that, click enter. Now this is asking me if I need to add .env file and .igno file. I'm just saying yes. And this automatically create a Git repo where I can monitor my revision. So first I'm going to say create Kanban board with to do in progress and done column. This is like a progress tracking app, specially used by developers. Now after this, clicking enter. Now clicking enter and it automatically creating those files to create this application. I can see it's using HTML, CSS and JavaScript to build this application. And you can see the performance, that is super cool. Imagine how much time it'll take if you want to create an application like this one or two years before. Now it's super quick. Now it's asking me to confirm if I want to create any files. So clicking yes, yes and yes. Now it's asking me to open the file, clicking yes. And here is that application. So I'm going to add a task, Prezen AI integration, clicking enter. Now it got added. Now Langchain integration, that is also added. Now when I started working, I can just move this across if it's in progress. And once that is completed, I can move that to done. I can see this is always in to do. So probably we might need to fix this issue. I'm going to say there are duplicate entries. To do is always the same. Clicking enter. Now it's fixing that issue. I still see the same error. So I'm going to say add an option to delete those tasks. I'm clicking enter. Now it gave me an option to delete once after it's done. That is cool. Let me try once more. And here is the updates. I'm just moving it across to in progress and then to done. That is brilliant. Now I can even add another task move that to in progress and also once that is done, I can move that to done. I can even delete this after it's done. That is brilliant. Next, we are going to see how you can download and use Olama with this Ada chat. So click this download button to download Olama. I'm going to use Llama 3.2, Olama pull Llama 3.2 and then click enter. That will download the Llama 3.2 model. Then Ada model Olama slash Llama 3.2 and then click enter. Now Llama 3.2 is open. Here it says, Olama API base is not set. Let's try if it's working. Add a navigation. Seems like it's working. So let's continue. It's asking if I need to add index to the chat context. I'm just saying yes. Clicking enter, adding script JS. Now it's making those changes and you can see the diff happening right in your terminal. And here it's creating a file called show greeting. Just clicking yes. Now it's all ready. And here is the update. And just because this model is small Llama 302, the layout and the contextual understanding is not very clear. And you might need to increase the context size for Llama 302, which you can configure in Olama to make this one work better. But you got the idea how you can run this freely locally on your computer. Next, we are going to use Grok to create applications super fast. And we are going to use Llama 303 7db model. So copying the model name, export your Grok API key like this and then click enter. Next, Ada model grok slash and the model name. Now the grok model is ready. I'm just saying review this application, adding it to the context, check HTML, CSS and JS file. Seems like there's a rate limit for my particular organization. You can upgrade this to get this rate limit extended. But for now, I'm going to leave it here. But you get the idea. Few more things I want to tell you. You can revert your changes by just typing slash undo. That will undo the commit. And you've got multiple options here by just typing backslash, you can commit your changes, you can copy the code, you can check the diff. If I click on it, it'll show you the diff. But for now, I haven't made much changes compared to what it was before. That is before using Olama model. 
and I'm sure this will speed up your process if you're trying to prototype any application and also if you're trying to create any application from start. But when the project gets bigger, then you might feel some difficulty of using this application. But overall, I'm really impressed with this application if you're planning to start or prototype any application. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like Ada, I also created another video which is about Klein, another AI coder, which I'll put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.